Now we will know how to get the flat pattern for the support cradle plate and the shell course to open the uh, support cradle and from the component pattern open that one and select that surface or that one or that one any straight surface of those and go to flat pattern from sheet metal tab now you have the actual dimensions uh, of the plate before bending and those are the bending lines you can export it uh, uh, save as as DXF or DWG DXF or DWG like that we will make export for that one and the GA drawing like that save it on AutoCAD layers with all layers we saved it and from Drawings, it's saved here. We will close that one and close the assembly. Now we will make the opening of the uh, those couplings in the uh, the, uh, the shell course uh, and get the flat pattern for the shell. We will double click on the shell and from here we will select. Uh, one of those services or couplings create sketch like that and from project we will select the outer surface of the coupling like that or that one The last coupling finish and from extrude here say the model we will make cut with a distance 100 millimeter the cut like that okay We will hide this plane and click finish. We will open the shell course as a separate part like that. And from here we will select this surface and create the flat pattern. Now we have the flat pattern for the shell course we will export it as a DXF file or DWG file here in drones like that as at end Now we have the 3D model with cut on the shell and we will make a cut here on the head. We will double click on the head and create a new sketch. Select the coupling here and select the outside diameter of the coupling and 
make things go to that one and select extrude cut with the distance 2 millimeters ok finish please open this head you will find your cut here we will do the same with the other head we double click on that one make a sketch right here and make projection for that line make a smooth cut to next ok finish open this head make this plane as a invisible we will see the head now we finish our editing on the visible That's the second video and in the third video we will know how to make our drone. Thank you for your time.